This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV win the Vold Hotel here in Stuttgart ahead of Barker and Sturm tonight. With me, working for Sky Sports and IFL TV in one night, Kel Brook. What's happening, Kel? What's happening? You alright? You good? It's cold in Stuttgart. Cold. Cold? Colder than in Sheffield? Yeah. Yeah? It is. It is. Uh, let's start with tonight. Um, obviously, we've been talking about this all week, but... This is going to be a, a tough task for Darren to retain his title tonight here in Germany. It is going to be a tough task, you know, he's away from home. Um, Sturm, you know, he's been there, he's had like 19 defences when he was world champion. You know, he knows what it's all about, you know, but for me, I can, I can, I've seen a change in Barker for this fight. I think, I think he believes, you know, you know, he deserves to be where he's at, you know, he's a world champion. He got off the floor in the Gill fight, you know, what were an unbelievable body shot, you know, not, n I don't know anyone really what would have got up from that. He climbed off the floor, you know, with the strength within, you know, went, it, went on to that, went on and went on to win, you know, an epic fight. And uh, I just believe that his mind, you know, his mindset, with, you know, with, with, with Sturm having, having boxed uh, Murray and Macklin, I think, I think Barker, you know, won't, Definitely wants to go. No, that one better and really, you know, really give it, give it to them, and, and you know, and dominate the fight. Hmm. When you watch uh, British fighters defending and fighting for world titles, is there part of you that thinks that this should have been you by now? You should either have had one or at least fought for one by now. Of course it does. Of course, cool. You know, I'm 31 and know, You know, I fight whatever they put in front of me, but my time is now. You know. The better years that you know are in front of me now. I'm like I'm 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 at this stage now, where I believe that I'm I'm at my best. You know I'd like to you know get in there with a with a best you know best in the division. Hmm. And uh, you know I know I know that you know I'll be watching the the Devon Porter fight you know later on tonight. Or if it gets too late, I might have to catch up you know tomorrow. But I'll be watching that and you know I'm, I get the winner. So it's it's not too far away now before I'm in in world title fights. I mean, yeah, that's what I was going to come on to. Obviously, uh, Devin Alexander fights Sean Porter tonight on um, uh, in Brooklyn. Um, so that that's sort of your direct path there, isn't it? So can you see anything about a Devin Alexander win? Can you see an upset by Sean Porter in this fight? You know, it's, they're both young guys. You know, they both you know want to make a statement and, and prove something in this fight. You know, I think Porter's unbeaten, you know, with one draw. But, you know, I've seen the way in and, you know, he carried on staring at Devon while Devon was smiling. And Porter, you know, he's obviously, he's trained hard and he believes he's going to win. Me personally, I think, you know, I think Devon's got the fight, you know, on points. I think that he'll, you know, I think he's just got a bit too much for him, you know. He's seen a little bit more than Porter for me, but, you know, that's why we have to see the fight. But, but I do think Devon, you know, will win the fight. Mm. Um, you're 31 and I like you said um, we spoke about this before when you fought Sinchenko obviously did you feel that that was uh, how much of a step up in class did you think before the fight obviously the fight itself ended in four rounds quite comfortable for you in the end but before the fight did you comparing to all the other 30 opponents did you feel like that was yeah obviously you know he's he were, he, you know, he's an ex world champion, and not many fights ago, he, he were the, the world champion. He, he, he had a good win against Hatton, um, and I know, you know, I knew that it were a step up. I knew that it were a step up going into that fight. But obviously, you know, and I've, I know, I've always known this. You know, the better the opposition. A lot of fighters said this, but I really mean what I'm saying. I always perform. You know, the best comes out of me. Obviously, you know, in that fight. Um, Obviously, in that fight, I, you know, I, I believe I made a statement and took him out in four rounds, and you know, no one's ever done that to him, ever. So uh, I think it were a statement showing showing the welterweights out there that you know I am I am what I am, and I'm number one, in the, you know, for the IBF. But I'm ranked, you know, in in the top five in in all the rest of the governing bodies. Hmm. Um, I've got a scenario for you. This could this could actually work out, but so. Alexander fights Porter tonight, right? Yeah. So you fight the winner of Alexander and Porter. Um, Amir Khan fights Mayweather, and then the winner of your fight and the winner of their fight fight each other next year. Would you? Yeah, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. <laughs> you go with that? 
Yeah, I'll go with that. But uh, listen, I know we weren't gonna really. Uh, I, I didn't really want to keep going on about it, but like I said, it, it seems like it's always a relevant subject with you. But um, it, it, Amir looks to have lined up a, a fight. It, it's, it looks inevitable. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure when it's going to be announced, if it's going to be announced, but it looks like it is going to be announced yeah. uh, to fight Mayweather next year. So, I mean, fair play to Amir if 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 that fight does come off for him. Fair play, to him. fair play to him. Yeah. Fair play to him. Fair play to him. But, um, I mean, like I said, we'll leave it there. We'll, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there with that one. Yeah. But um, next year, you like I said, I've to told you what I what I think about that, but we don't want to go into it. So fair play, like like we say, you know, good on him. That's the very thing of you. Um, it was a difficult night uh, a, a week ago for Tony Belly, wasn't it, in Canada? Okay, it, it, you know, he went out there and fought the best in the division yeah. uh, at light heavyweight, Adonis Stevenson, and he come up short on the night. So what did you think about that? You know, obviously. You know, people talking, we, we knew that it were a, a, a tall order for, for Tony, but you know what I, what I know about Tony, he's one of them characters where, you know, he's a big puncher and, it, you know, he watches and studies the game, you know, so I, I was interested in seeing, I know that he trained, he, he trained unbelievable for that fight and, you know, like he's like he been going on about, you know, um, there's a lot of hype behind certain fighters, but, um, you know, that the Stevenson had been beat. You know, so I were interested in seeing what Tony could, you know, Tony could do. So, you know, if he would have, I, I wish that he would have. I know his his game plan, I believe, were to, you know, pick him, at, you know, use his jab effectively and use the ring and get him later on because that had probably been the, you know, I would have probably gone in and tried doing that. But I would have liked to have seen him now. Nah, nah, we can say that. But I would have liked him to have uh, got in early and started letting his his bombs go. Mm. And you know. And you never know. In hindsight, we can say that because I said the same thing. I said, you know, from from the off, if Tony had gone in there, centre of the ring, and started having it with him, it could have been a different fight. But like I said, it's uh, it's easy to say it now. It's easy to say it now. Obviously, you know, it, it's, it it didn't go the way we wanted it to go, and we can say that now. But you know, that's what happens after after most fights. So I think he, he's going to regroup. You know, and uh, I know he's got good people around him, Tony. So. He'll make the right decision, and you know we'll see him. We'll see him in, you know, big fights, uh, 2014. Mm. What you? I mean, obviously you haven't a date for your fight next year hasn't been secured. So what are you doing now? You just keeping it ticking in the gym, girl? Yeah, I'm ticking, ticking over in the gym. Um, waiting to, you know, waiting to find out what happens with this fight, and uh, you know, I'll have 90 days to make the fight, and, and I'll be, I'll be back in. You know, as soon as I get back from Germany. I'm back in the gym, you know, to uh, two sessions a day, you know, getting back on the diet. Because I have put a few pounds on, you know, we need to get what we need to get off, not ride off. And, uh, yeah, you know, get everything back in order and get get ready for get ready for the day, what's, what, what needs to get set. Mm. I've put a few pounds on, actually. You do, don't you? It's Christmas, isn't it? You it's know. not even Christmas yet, really. I mean, we're a couple of weeks away, but I've probably put on about five or six pounds in the last couple of weeks, so... I probably need to like, you know. It's got to be done, hasn't it? Is it? It's got to be done. For both of us, we've got, we've got, we've got to look, we've got to look trim. I'd, um, you, you felt a little bit of my power earlier, didn't you, from the yeah, couple you, of jabs? I felt your power on. I'd like you, I'd like you and we uh, flint off. I'd like to see that. Would you? Yeah. Who would you back in that fight? Honestly. Yeah. You. Yeah. Honest. I six months. We're a good trainer. Do you reckon Ingle? Ingle could, could Ingle, six months with Ingle. If, Ingle, if you had six months with if Ingle, if I took it seriously, we break, you put in you want treadmill doing thirty thirties, you know, high tens. We've got we've got a few little little horrible sessions on them. What's high tens? What's that mean? Like heart rate high on treadmills, thirty minutes on thirty. There's all different kinds of little tricks we've got on, on treadmill. But if we trained you, I think six months you'd be you'd be taking them out. Yeah, do you reckon? Yeah. Would I with, them, with them shots you were chucking at me earlier? I definitely, uh, I'd say so. I know, I've, listen, I've been told I've got yeah, a natural good, right good. hand and just, you know, awesome power, a few trainers have said, but I don't know, maybe a six month, a six month camp where I was like a boot camp. Yeah. I think like, I, I, I'd be ready to fight. I'd fight like him. prison, like, on you. Yeah. I can't live in the, where do you, what part of Sheffield are you from? What part? Yeah, what part is it called again? I'm at, uh, Greniside, Greniside oh. area. Gangster part. No, not gangster that. No. Not gangster. We're, 
Where where are we brought up like on cross, that's more rougher. Is it? S five. Oh. S five boys. That that means something to you. I mean, I don't know what, what that is, but that yeah. sounds yeah. That's area code. Area code. Five. Yeah. All right. All right. And just a quick prediction for Malinaji and Judah tonight as well. Would you? Reckon? I like I like Malin I like Malinaji in 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 that fight. Uh, I think these days I don't know I, I don't I might be wrong, uh, but I think Zab's you know coming for for paydays. I, I don't think I think he's had it you know he's been in some unbelievable fights. I just think that I think Malinaji is one of them kind of kids where you know he, when it when it when he when he trains for fights you know he, he, he does his absolute best and he's passionate on on winning and, and not the paycheck. All right. <coughs> All right, Kel. Well, listen, thank you very much for talking to us. Finally caught up with you this weekend. Uh, go and do your thing with Sky. Let's hope Barker does his thing in the ring and uh, we can all go home happy. Very happy. All right, it's Coogan Casters with Kel Brook here at the Vault Hotel for uh, IFL TV. Thank you very much. Coogan Casters for IFL TV. Um, Barker and Sturm post fight. Kel Brook, disappointing night for Darren Barker. Disappointing. Disappointing night for us. Um, you know, I, I didn't expect Sturm to come out the way he did. Um, you know, I didn't come out. I didn't like the way that Barker were dipping down and, and get um, dipping down. You know, and his reach. You know, his, re his, re his re he weren't using his reach to his, his best advantage. Um, shocked. You know, shocked the way the way the, the fight the fight ended. But obviously, you know, Sturm Sturm were you know the, the pressure. There were a lot of pressure on Sturm tonight. But obviously, you know, he performed. Performed the better for himself, you know, under that pressure. So uh, good luck to us. Do you think Darren will call it a day and retire, considering the injury? Well, I've, I've just I've just seen uh, his his trainer Sims, and uh, he, he you know it, it's it's been going on many years, you know, with the injuries and mentally it's it's not good for a fighter, you know. I know I've I've had I've had injuries, but Darren's had many many injuries. It's you know it's. So you don't you don't know what you don't know what he's thinking, what his team think. You need to sit down and decide, you know, what the best thing is to do. But obviously, you know, he's got to come he's got to come back from that injury. He's got to get fit. He's got to get mentally. But it's like it's you know, he's, Andy's had enough. Andy's had enough of getting injured. So you just don't know. Mm. Uh, take nothing away from Felix Sturm, though. You know, despite the injury. Felix Sturm oh. on it tonight. Oh, he ran it tonight. Uh, it's it's best I've seen him in a while. He came out, he kept composed. You know, he he, he, let, he you know he cut that distance down, and he, he were bringing the hooks in left and right. You know, and you know style make fights. He, he, you know the style what Darren came out with. Obviously, it was ideal for Sturm, and uh, you know he stamped on his authority quick, and uh, he, he didn't let him he didn't let him off off the you know off the leash. Yeah. Alright Kel, it's been a long night so uh, we're going to get some sleep now. So we need some sleep, we need some. Keep us posted on any news about you. Yeah, Devon, Devon Porter tonight. Alright, Coogan Cassius with Kel Brook here for IFL TV, thank you very much.